Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to be here to good like to talk about the widespread distribution of prion seeding activities in tissue from patients with sporadic crepitus echo disease. Prion disease, also known as a transmissible spongiform encephalopathies or TID, are a group of rare phantom brain disease that affect a human and animals. Prions derive from the term of the protein serous infection practical by Steiner Brusina in 1982, and he have the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine in 1997. And prion is a type of protein that can trigger normal protein in the brain to miss further form of the protein in the brain, cause the prion disease. So in the picture, with the picture, you can see the difference between the PAPC and PAPSC protein. In the PAPC, is a non-infectious, insoluble, and protein case sensitive, and the structure is a predominant alpha -hyaline in the PAPSC is the infectious, insoluble in detergents resident to proteinase are readily from aggregates and deposits as large aggregate in the DC tissue. In the structure is the rig in beta seed. This is slide to show about the diagnosis of sporadic crepitus disease. Is we have a definer, proapro, and positive. Is the definer is a progressive neuropsychiatric syndrome, and the neuropathological and immunopsychochemical or biochemical confirmation. It's a, if, a pro -pro, if you have one symptom and two of the two group symptoms, and if you have a typical of EEG or typical of brain MRI, and the positive CFF 1433, and the progressive neuropsychiatric syndrome, and the positive adequate in the CSF, especially in other tissue, and the symptom like a rapidly progressive connective impediment, and the myoclonus in visual and cerebral disturbance, disturbance and pyramidal and extrapyramidal size, and academic muscle, and exclusion of other causes in complete diagnosis without. If it's possible, if you have one symptom or two of two symptoms, and duration is less than two years. Uh, this is slide to talk about the two methods: is the protein misfolding, cyclic amplification, and quacking into conversion. It two methods can amplification the prion seeding activities. Uh, although uh, two methods is the same of the meteorology, but it's different about the detection and amplification. It's a PMCI is a sensitive detection of pathological prion protein in the cyclic amplification of prion misfolding. But in the quick, it's the simple ultra sensitive by recoupling PRP conversion with seeking prion detection. And in our study, we went to use ArtiQuick because this method is a very uh, easy and uh, simple, and especially it's uh, cheaper than in the PMC. So we will go to the purpose of the research. Uh, human prion disease, as you know, is a transmissible and untreatable and fundamental. And the disease is caused by abnormally photo prion in the central nervous system. Although infectivity was historically detected only in the central nervous system, but some research shows that the seeding activity can uh, detect in the various non-neuronal organs. And the whole body distribution of prion must be elucidated to reduce the risk of accidental prion infection in such patients. Therefore, in this study, we will show the distribution of prion seeding activity not only in the brain, but also in the digestive organ, scalp, femoral nerve, quadricep femoris, and thyroid tissue. In this study, we have a 22 patients and 9 native brain and 22 native scalp. In there, we have a 5 patients sample with the encephalus, stomach, duodenum, geogenum, and arenal gland, pancreas, appendix transfer column, and 6 small column specimen, and 2 patients with sample the thyroid, dermis, femoral nerve, and quadriceps femoris. And 5 human sample often the non human prion disease. So we will go to the preparation and sample because we have a lot of organ. But now I will show about the uh, scalp in the scalp and the brain, and the sample uh, also we have approximately 30 to 200 each in width, approximately three times three millimeter and five times five millimeter each inside. And this sample was homogenized with the 10 percent of PPS and using about the machine power in two and 
one or two minutes. And this sample was clarified by centrifugation. It's 6,000 PM for two minutes, and we went to store the minus 80 degree. Uh, so now we will go to the result of the question. Prion seeding activity of digestive organ in five sporadic refuse cycle of disease. As you know, we have eight organ uh, of the nine, nine organ in the digestive organ. It's five patient, and we can see that it's the highest. We can see in the esophagus, it's nearly about uh, it's average about the 6.63 plus and minus 0, 0.1 0, 0.5. 3 to the 8.38 plus and minus 0, 0.16 and average about the 7.63 plus and minus 0, 0.15 and lower we can see that in the 6 moi column and some okay, case in the terminal ileum and lower in the pancreas and adrenal gland. Uh, this is the distinctive histopathological feature of the sporadic refuse of disease. I know it's the, this is the goal uh, to uh, to diagnose of SCCD. So now I went to show some of the AD staining and PRP immunohistochemical in the brain and in the scalp. You can, in the brain, you can, you can see that it's more and fine and microvascular in the neuropain of the occipital cortex SCCD1. And you can see in the different in the MM2T, it's a large vascular and in the scalp, you can see the many Swiss gland have follicle and granulation uh, in uh, to contain about the abnormal prion protein. Uh, this slide is so about the log AD50 in the scalp. We have a 22 scalp. Why we have a lot of our scalp in the patient because the scalp is the less invasion. So we have a 20 scalp uh, of the 22. Uh, patient. So at the average of lead AD50 in the scalp sample was 70.3 plus and minus 0 to 1 log AD50 per gram tissue. And this is the prion seeding activity of organ in sporadic cruise. They could be the patient. In this lady brain, it's lower we can see the quadricep femoris and lower in the thyroid gland. This is a picture to show the detail of the 15 uh, organ in the uh, human brain disease. Um, in the brain, the log AD50 is the 9.96 plus and minus 0 0.15. In lower, in, you can see that in the femoral nerve, it's uh, lower than the brain to 100 times. And lower, we can see in the ends of girls, in duodenum, and the terminal ileum, especially in the scalp. Is not, although it, the organ is a late invasion, but you can see that it's a lower in the brain, is a 1,000 times. In all of the organ, you can see that in the thyroid, it's only about 4.5 log AD50. So now we're going to go to the summary. The endpoint adequate assay using seriously diluted brain homogenate in the SCCD patient. And the rig approximately 10 to the power of 10 per gram tissue. In the scalp and peripheral nerve have a limit invasion, but AD50 was 1,000 times lower than in the brain. In the AD50 of digestive tissue read around 10 to the power of 4.75 to 10 to the power of 8.38 plus and minus 0.16 program in the tariff uh, account for the lowest proportion. So I will go to the conclusion. The PRP deposits were detected not only in the brain, but also in the digestive organ, scalp, femoral nerve, quadriceps femoris, and thyroid tissue. The articulic analysis identified positive seeding activity for all of these organs and the scalp. And our study demonstrated that the most other organ of SCCD patient contain both prion seeding activity in infectivity. We raised a concern about the potential for itrogenic SCCD transmission via transplant. And finally, thank you so much for everybody today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chang. You deliver a totally uh, comprehensive presentation.